Welcome to the Idea Fair Cello Camp's live demo day. I'm Rachel Jacob, program manager at Cello Camp, and together with me here on screen is my co host, Alon Chavi, program director at Cello Camp and co founder at Upright. And we have a very special guest with us here today, Renee Reinsberg, co founder at C Labs, who we will hear from very shortly. Welcome, Alon and Renee, onto screen. We have an exciting event and lineup planned for you all today, but I'd like to first welcome our audience joining us from all across the globe, including our community investors, both the C-Labs team and our incredible mentors who've all worked brilliantly and closely with Cell Camp teams throughout the past eight weeks. And of course, the 22 teams of Cell Camp Batch 3 who all deserve a huge round of applause for their accomplishments throughout camp. And you'll be able to see some of these achievements during the live pitches today. We'd love to hear from everyone here, so please introduce yourselves in the chat on the right of the screen. I see um, everyone is already introducing themselves, so just uh, tell us where you're from and what brings you here today to the Idea Fair. Over the past eight weeks, Cell Camp teams have focused on growing their startups alongside our eight-week curriculum, where teams focus on various stages of the startup journey, including user research, UX, product market fit, go-to market, fundraising, security, strategy, regulation and compliance, and building and integrating with Cello. The teams in camp made quite an impression and have inspired us all through what they are trying to bring to the world and what they've achieved until this point. From remittances, DeFi, NFTs, wallets, nature conservation, privacy, and developer tools, Cello camp teams are making an impact. All teams have integrated with Cello successfully throughout the camp, Two teams have already raised significant rounds during the camp, and many others are in the process. We know that they are going to all become leaders in the solo ecosystem, and we cannot wait to see where they go from here. Um, narrowing the finalists down was down to 10 was really difficult. Um, all the teams in the camp, they are absolutely incredible. Their projects are 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 really interesting, and we believe that they are going to uh, you know, really make a difference in, in our community and in the world around us. So we hope to feature all the camp teams in the coming weeks through our Founder Stories feature and share with you their impressive work. That being said, our finalists presenting to you today were selected from 274 applicants coming from 75 countries. And the 10 finalists that you will hear from today are Wild Chain from Thailand, Coco Mercado from Venezuela, Spain, USA, and Colombia, Good, Co Good Ghosting from the UK, Sam Finance from the UK, Co Coin Profile from Nigeria, Dahlia Finance from the USA, Infrabridge from India, Award Pool from Canada, Cresco from the USA, and ETH Trust in the USA. Also presenting today is our wildcard entry from the Startup Pathway program, who we will announce later in the event. And before we hear from our teams, we will begin our program with a short talk from Renee. Renee, welcome to the stage. We're so happy to have you with us today. Ah, it's great to be here. Wow, I'm I'm really excited for today. I, I mean, I got a chance to you know, see some of the teams over the last week, and it's just phenomenal how much progress um, you know, you know, all the teams made since the beginning of camp. It's uh, it's truly incredible. Um, so yeah, be, before I um, hand it back over, I wanted to just share, um, you know, a little bit from also my personal journey, and um, you know, take it take a chance to kind of plug one of my favorite entrepreneurship books, which is Founders at Work. Um, I don't know uh, if many of you have. 
heard about it or, or read it, but um, it's it's written by uh, YC founding partner uh, Jessica Livingston, and it's kind of an inside look into the journey of some of the most successful startups uh, in, in Silicon Valley. And you know, one of the things that um, we usually get to see, and even today, demo day, you know, it's going to be great demos. It's going to be like, wow, like these companies are awesome, right? I mean, we usually read about um, the, the big funding rounds. We read about exciting product launches. We read about, you know, like an amazing partnership. And um, it's, it's easy when you're... Um, you know, even when you're an entrepreneur and uh, you, you kind of look at other other kind of startups journeys to 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 think that's really all the, <laughs> that's that's to it. Right. And you kind of you don't really see uh, the the hard times um, on that entrepreneurial uh, journey. And, uh, you know, like, you know, the, the time that you're one week away from making payroll, that the time a, a key employee leaves. Uh, the time you're, you're you know, there's a lawsuit, someone is suing you for whatever uh, reason, um, or maybe a big partnership falls through, right? These are not the stories that you kind of uh, typically read about or hear about. And, um, you know, I think I'll, when I, you know, when I look back to our own journey, entrepreneurial journeys, um, that those end up being some of the more defining times. And, um, and you know, I, I grew up in Germany where, um entrepreneurship at the time that I was starting my first company there um, it was kind of like the you know the, the saying was well you know um, if, if you if you can't get a job you can always start a company and uh, that kind of tells you everything right it was it was not very sexy it was not celebrated and um, you know it didn't really matter because I was doing it because I wanted to uh, solve solve problems and you know seeing someone use the software I built, um, you know, bring value to them, make them happy. That was that was really what I was kind of striving for. But it but it certainly was uh, was much harder than it than it can be or that it should be. And then um, you know, coming to MIT and you know starting a company out of uh, MIT years later um, was such a big difference. I still remember one of the first uh, talks I went to at MIT was an entrepreneur who um, talked about um, his failed startup journey. Um, and there really wasn't like, there was no, like, it was just, you know, hey, here's how I failed. And I was sitting there and I was like, wow, this is, this is kind of, un, you know, uncomfortable, a little bit strange. Uh, but by the end of the talk, all of us were, were just standing and clapping. And um, it was, you know, I, I couldn't believe it. And I, I was for the first time seeing that um, actually celebrating that failure and, um, and and kind of the learnings from it um, was was almost more important than than, than celebrating the wins. Um, and so, when I when I reflect on on sort of uh, the journey of starting that company out of MIT and compared to sort of the early experience in Germany, um, there's there's kind of two things that stand out. The first one is mentorship. Um, you know, that second time around. Um, and you know, in many ways, was the first time starting a venture back company. Um, I never got that far. It was the first one, but there were people who'd done it before who I could call on uh, for advice. And um, you know, that's something that's um, I didn't take for granted, and I'm, I'm I'm still thankful. And you know, I'm still in touch with many of the people who um, were there in those early days, kind of helping me navigate and. Mentorship is a big part of of Cello Camp, and you know I want to just take this opportunity to thank um, the thirty mentors um, that uh, spend hours with all the teams uh, throughout this this batch. And um, I I hope that many of those relationships survive the the demo day and and kind of continue into the future. And I think that's a that's something you know very special to have as a founder have the support from from strong mentors. The second one. Um, is that you know when we were starting that company out of MIT, there was a there was kind of a group of founders who were starting companies at the same time, and uh, finally those were our classmates at MIT. But we actually ended up spending more time together after MIT. We kind of became almost like a little support group, um, and would have occasional group dinners and breakfasts, but but also a lot of one-on-one -on -one conversations. And usually, you know, those would be. Um, Quite different from the from the mentorship conversations, and you know, it was sometimes just good to have someone who um, can sort of relate and can understand. You know, when you when you hit sort of a low point or when you hit a kind of an obstacle, 
and um and and that i will say um yeah it was kind of more it was less kind of the actual advice but just kind of having someone to listen and, and kind of be able to relate um to that journey um and that peer support um meant a ton and you know i think i've over the years um those relationships have you know developed into deep friendships and when i um when I look at the Cellocam teams, I can already see that. I can already see that peer support. And I, I just want to encourage all the teams, uh, whether, you know, you're presenting today, you're winning today, or whether you just participated, um, keep in touch with your with your peer group here. That's um, going to be, if I, you know, if I had to extrapolate, it's probably going to be one of uh, the things that will um, be a big factor in, in future success. And um, big shout out to to Rachel and Alon for for running a program that um, that is really geared towards building community and um, and and building kind of strong relationships uh, among among founders, which um, is, is so important. Um, uh, so yeah, so I mean, and by the way, this is not to like say anything negative about Germany. I mean, things have changed now. You know, entrepreneurship is now celebrated there too, and it's in many other places in the world. But um, I I just wanted to kind of uh share that as you know um in crypto one thing i've noticed is so much of um you know our space um is tied to you know bull and bear markets and you know with the volatility over the weekend um you know of course everyone is talking about are we going into another bear market or is it still a bull market and um and here my advice would be just you know uh try to kind of think very long term um, and it may it may feel a little bit when you're in a bear market like it felt back for me back in Germany where you know it's like oh you're an entrepreneur <laughs> oh you're uh, you know oh you're in crypto right um, but uh, it, it doesn't it doesn't really matter because all of you are solving real problems um, and um, when you do that when you when you focus on actually delivering value to to users to your customers then um, that that really sets you up for long term success. Bull or bear market, um, left aside. Um, yeah, with that, um, you know, I think maybe just kind of a closing remark here, which is when when Seth Merrick and I started Cello, we knew that the the mission uh, would be would be too ambitious just for one for one team to to achieve. Um, you know, really this this notion of of creating a better financial system that can bring the conditions of prosperity to everyone in the world um, is not something that a, that a single team can uh, can solve and um, many of you here are already um, you know driving part of that mission and and over time um, you know will not only continue to do so but also help bring in um, the next generation of companies and teams that that will do so and so um, yeah, just kind of reiterating a little bit on, on Rachel's point here. Um, you're playing in a really important role in our ecosystem. And for that, I want to thank you. And um, yeah, um, you know, look forward to um, working alongside each other towards this um, crazy ambitious mission over the next few years. Thank you so much. Thank you so Renee. much. Oh, and, eh. <laughs> Thank you, Renee, for the kind words. You know, we really uh, appreciate it. And uh, the founders of, uh, uh, of, of Silaps are really inspirational throughout our uh, journey. And uh, I want to also thank you for all the support uh, you are giving to the camp teams um, and really being a source of uh, inspiration, you know. Uh, so thank you so much. Thank you, Renee. Thank and, you, guys. Uh, we'll see you soon. <laughs> so now for our main event, the idea fair, um, I'd like to just walk you through a couple of things before we begin. Uh, how the event will run is we will um, call each team up one by one. Each team will have three minutes to present their pitches followed by a two minute Q&A. And um, we'd love to hear from you all throughout the event. So there are a couple of interactive tools here on Crowdcast. We have the chat to the right. And during our Q&A portion, 
If you'll see at the bottom of the screen, there's the ask a question tab. So you can ask the team's questions throughout the event. And uh, maybe your question may be uh, called up during, uh, during the Q&A. And you can also vote on questions that you'd like to be answered. Um, and I'd like to also note that if you look at the bottom, you'll see the polls tab. Right after the event, we will open that up for voting. Uh, the community vote will make up 20% of the final vote to uh, determine who the top two winners of Cell Camp will be. Our first place winner will receive the gold prize of 10,000 CUSD, and the second place will receive the silver prize of 5,000 CUSD. So again, the polls will open immediately after our last presenter. And uh, we are about to get started. I just ask the audience to bear with us as we call teams on and off screen. And the first one up is Florian from Team Wild Chain. I am just going to call him up momentarily. Be joining on in just a moment. Okay, hello. Hello, Florian. Welcome. Thank you, Rachel. Also, a big thank you to to you and Alon for organizing an amazing camp. Thank you. It was a pleasure. Thank you. Um, I'm going to try to share my screen. All right, you should be able to see my screen. Okay, um, hi, I'm Flo from Wildchain. Wildchain is a non-profit mobile game where players can digitally adopt endangered animals and support real-world conservation initiatives at the same time. So we are at the beginning of a human-caused mass animal extinction, and one million species could be threatened by 2030. To avoid that, we need to protect 30% uh, of the planet by 2030. So conservation projects are dramatically underfunded. So the big question is, how do we scale conservation funding? And to scale, we cannot just rely on grants. We need to tap into completely new funding sources. So we think games are amazing tools to engage with people. So we are creating a game that is also a climate action tool. So we raise funds from the game and give it to conservation and make the impact transparent. So what is actually the game about? So in the game, you become a digital conservationist and you can hatch adorable animals, raise them from baby to adult, you grow your very own wildlife sanctuary. And another part of the game is adopting animals from other players. And this is what we built at Cello Camp. So I'm here in the sanctuary with Spotty the baby cheetah. I go to the adoption center and in the adoption center, I can see all the animals that are up for adoption. So our players listed them for adoption. Um, those are all NFTs, non-fungible tokens. So I can apply different filters. Let's say I want to adopt this African wild donkey that is critically endangered. Um, then I click adopt, and then the, it will ask me to connect my Valora wallet or to uh, download my Valora wallet if I don't have it yet. Then it goes to Valora. And now I can actually try it again. And this time I have to confirm the transaction. Every, transa every adoption is a transaction on the blockchain. And that's it. We've just adopted an African wild donkey. And we've also created a donation. Every adoption creates a donation to a charity. So we have different revenue streams in the game. And the profits generated are put into a conservation fund. And then just by playing, players create real world impact. So for example, when players plant a tree in the game, our tree planting partner will plant a tree in the real world. 100% of our profits go to wildlife conservation. So we've launched successful crowdfunding campaigns and raised over $30,000 from over 250 people. And there are over 2.2 billion mobile gamers worldwide. And our target market is the $24 billion casual mobile games market. And of course, the digital collectible market that is rapidly growing, especially this year. So our team brings a lot of experience in social enterprises, conservation and game design. And in June, we are launching our private alpha version 
The idea is to co-develop the game with users, so please reach out if you would like to give it a try. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Florian. And guys, you are welcome to uh, ask uh, Florian a question in the Ask a Question tab to the bottom right of the screen. And uh, you know, what makes a uh, strong NFT uh, projects is the community that is uh, around them. And wildlife and nature conservation is uh, something that anyone can relate to at any age. So um, I'm super excited about your project and also uh, this prospect of bringing back to nature uh, and creating projects that uh, uh, are for good causes. And um, I think your project is a, a very important piece in our uh, uh, ecosystem. So uh, thank you so much for the wonderful thank job you, you guys uh, have been doing at Wildchain. So let's look at the question tab. Yes, we have uh, one here. Can you later trade adopted animals? What are the incentives to trade your NFT? Well, I think the, the incentive is obviously that people like to collect things, right? So in the game, there is a, a story, there's gameplay. This is a real game. This is not just a, you know, a blockchain game where you just own the tokens. It's, a, it's real gameplay and the people collectors want to you know complete the collection right there's this one animal maybe missing maybe you are a big fan of of mammals um and of course um the the for me the, the main reason would be because i want to create donations and every adoption creates um a donation so that means there's a, a donation um royalty mechanic in our smart contracts and that means that if the people trade among them, themselves, then there's every time an adoption uh, an adoption occurs is a donation created. And I think that's a wonderful mechanic that would be a you know great incentive for a lot of people. Thank you so much, Florian from Team Wild Chain. We're so happy to have you with us today. And um, I think uh, now we're ready to move on to the next team. So thank you, Florian, for joining us. That was awesome. That was really great. Thank you. So the next team that we'll be calling up is Coco Mercado. And I'll be calling up Kevin onto screen. Good morning, Rachel. Good morning, Alan. How are you? Hello. Good morning. Hello, awesome. So thanks. Uh, I'm going to be presenting. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start sharing my screen now. So good morning, everyone. My name is Kevin Charles, and I'm the CEO and co-founder of Coco. Coco is a wallet for global remittances. We want to make a product that make it really easier for anybody to receive money to their mobile phone. We're trying to solve a wide known problem, which is that sending cash is inconvenient right now. Right now, more than 70% of money sent to Latin America is received in cash, usually at far locations and Western Union outlets. And this is given that more than 60% of the adult population is unbanked. Um, we want to create a solution that just allows anybody to send mobile money to a mobile phone, given that more than 81% of uh, people in Latin America has a smartphone. And I'm going to show you a demo of what we were able to build using the Salo technology. So here you see uh, your interface. You click transfer. Now you input the amount you wish to send to your family back home, in this case, $100. Then you enter the wallet address or mobile phone of your recipient wallet. And this is your confirmation screen where you make sure everything is all right before uh, proceeding to clicking confirm and send. And that's it. You have made a, 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 a mobile transaction to a, another mobile phone. We want to we want it to be really easy to work. You just have to install your app in your mobile phone, sign up with your phone number, and start sending and receiving remittances instantly. Uh, you should, right now, you have uh, solutions for unbanked people 
that involve cash pickup, such as Western Union and MoneyGram. And you also have a solution for bank people with mobile phones, such as TransferWise or Zoom. But we are at that intersection between uh, the unbanked people that has a, a smartphone right now and uh, also uh, valorizing this in this category. Our key differentiator among other wallets, it's our go-to-market strategy. Uh, back in 2019, we built Coco Market, a marketplace for migrants to send food to their family back home. It works really easy. You just install Coco Market app, and then you select the, the groceries you need, and then your grandma receives uh, uh, the groceries back home through uh, a local uh, fulfillment. Um, with this marketplace, we were able to build a trusted closed loop payment network of more than $12 million in transactions and with a user base of more than 40,000 remitters in more than 100 countries, over 50,000 Venezuelan recipient families and more than 150 key merchants that will serve as the rails for wallet deployment and adoption. First, we'll take over Venezuela and then we'll go uh, for other markets where remittances are, are huge, such as Mexico, Argentina, Colombia, Dominican Republic, Nigeria, Philippines, to name a few. Our roadmap is um, we just spend the first few quarters of the year building uh, the wallet, and now we're ready to launch it to mainnet uh, to our existing 50,000 user base. Our goal is to reach a million users by December and 10 million users in five years. Uh, Coco was built by migrants for migrants. Uh, we had a fully remote team. Um, we were backed by Y Combinator back in 2019, and we're the same team that built the first Bitcoin exchange in Venezuela called for Bitcoin back in 2014. Um, we do know Venezuela. Venezuela is a market that is among the top four cryptocurrency adoption, and we believe that this is going to be key for creating the network effect needed. Um, to have a massive adoption of a wallet. Thank you. So I'll be uh, happy to take any any uh, questions. Super excited, Kevin. You guys are on a mission to bring a crypto mass adoption and for good causes. Um, and I know you guys are also looking at uh, incorporating solutions like uh, um, Apple Pay and Google Pay to have really the, the best experience uh, to your users. Uh, so thumbs up and a very important uh, a project uh, to reduce fees and to make sure people can remit easily and uh, from anywhere in the world. So uh, do we have any questions for Coco? Uh, yes, we have one that just popped up. Um, how will Coco provide cash out in Venezuela? That's a great question. So uh, we, we already have a network of 150 affiliated supermarkets and, and pharmacy stores that will serve as cash out outlets so that people can go there and redeem the money by acquiring products or services. And also they will be able to get cash directly from the cashier at these stores. Wonderful. Thank you, Kevin, for joining us today. And uh, we'll see you later. Thank you. Thank you, Kevin. Bye. Next up, we have Good Ghosting, and I will be calling up Rachel. Hi. Can Hi, Rachel. Know, Rachel. What's up? Uh, good, 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 good. Just pick this. Um, you guys can all hear me okay then? Yes, perfect. I'll get my screen sharing in that case. Um, ah, sorry. Um, Ah, um, oh, the screen set button, sorry. Okay, so uh, my name is Rachel. I'm a founder of Good Ghosting. We are your incentive to save. So our mission is to end boring savings. And why are savings boring? Well, it's hard to remember to save. 
And even when you do, it's incredibly poorly rewarded. And that's certainly true in traditional finance. Luckily, we've got DeFi, which is bringing us all of the good things. So much higher returns, a composable ecosystem that we can build on top of, and excitingly gamification. So we can build like new types of financial applications that just weren't possible before. And good ghosting is one of these. So our MVP, we are building a social saving pool that's going to incentivize you to make regular deposits. This is how it works. Um, you join the pool. It runs for a fixed amount of time. And you have to make uh, regular deposits during the duration of the pool. So it will last, for example, two months. And you need to put uh, $20 worth of stable tokens in every week, just an example. And then we move those tokens onto Moolah. So they're generating um, extra interest and revenue. At the end, then we can work out who was a good saver, who hit all of their savings goals, and who didn't. If you didn't, um, you still get your principal and deposit back. This is no loss. But the uh, interest will be split amongst those who were regular savers. Law of average does mean a few people are going to drop out, maybe more. So you will get higher returns than if you just saved by yourself. And importantly, you also get that extra nudge to save. I'm just going to jump over and give you a quick look at our our um, UI. So this is running on a test net. I can see some stats about the game. I don't have a lot of time, so I'll move through this quite quickly. Uh, just get a reminder, cool, I need to deposit this much, and it's telling me how often I need to do that. Um, I'm going to click to uh, save. This has opened up my wallet, so you may not be able to see this. And um, I will click to approve this. Um, as I say, this is running on a test net, so it is a real blockchain, so it does take a little bit of time. And whilst it does that, maybe it's a good moment to talk about the vision beyond this, because we really believe that you know this is just the beginning of um, incentivized um, social saving. We want to explore you know, adding volatile assets, allowing community members to generate their own games, bringing in different price strategies, um, you know, even adding in options where you can maybe donate to not to profit, et cetera. There's so much to explore with this. Um, and yeah, this is just really the beginning. Awesome. So we were able to join and the demo worked, um, which was always nice. Um, cool. So coming back to the deck, just like Cello, we believe the future of finance is mobile. We're going to bring addictive gamification, make it so social, and keep it decentralized and non-custodial. We have an amazing team, so lots, lots of expertise in DeFi, development, UX. Um, and excitingly, our community has really been growing in the last month. We launched a community challenge, um, and we've had over 2,000 submissions and over 300 memes. So that's a lot of fun. And our Discord has also been uh, blowing up as well a lot in the last uh, month. So yeah, thank you for listening. Um, if you'd like to help us make addictive savings, please do get in touch. And you can also scan that QR code if you want to dive into our um, Discord where all the action happens. Thank you. Wow, Rachel, thank you so much. What a great demo. I love live demos. I'm a sucker for li live demos and uh, also nice traction uh, on social. Um, I think uh, with the launch of the Celo uh, Euro, the recent uh, launch, uh, your project is a great addition to the Celo uh, community, educating people about saving, doing it in a fun way, in a, in a, in a gamified way. Uh, so I'm super excited about your project. Um, and thank you so much. Let's see if we have questions for good ghosting. I think there was, I can see a question in here that says, um, will users need to make large obligations like $500 per week? Uh, we won't be starting off with that. Um, we want to make it accessible. So we're going to experiment with different amounts. And over time, we will like, allow users to have more control over that, but we want to have you know accessible price points. So I don't think we'll be launching with $500 a week. Thank you so much, Rachel. Thank you, Rachel, for joining us today, and we'll see you soon. Awesome. Thank you. And thanks for running the program. It's been amazing. Cheers. Thank you. Next up, we have Scent Finance. And I'm going to call up Uzair. Uh, 
And by the way, guys, if you have uh, any more questions, you are welcome to continue the discussion in the chat. We have a lot of DeFi uh, projects uh, coming into the community um, that kind of like integrate to uh, uh, Ubiswap and uh, Moolah uh, from batch two. So it's really wonderful to see it. He is accepting and coming onto screen. Hi, guys. Hello. Can you guys hear me? Yeah. Yes, was there perfectly? Okay, perfect. So, welcome everyone. My name is Azair. We're Cent Finance. Or, uh, non-custodial DeFi wallet and decentralized exchange by the name of Symmetric. So my co-founders and I that, set out to... Yes. You want to share your uh, presentation? Oh, you can't see my presentation? No. Oh, sorry. Sorry, one second, guys. No problem. Did you see the share button on on top of your screen? Oh, there we go. Sorry about that. No problem. Okay. Uh, can you guys see my screen now? I think we are seeing the wrong screen. We are seeing the crowdcast one. Oh, okay, now, now the... you're in the right one. Okay. All right, let's start again then. And if you can present that also, it will be good. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you. Well, okay. Uh, I guess there's always uh, room for, for second chances. Hello everyone, my name is Azair uh, uh, from Cent Finance. We're a non-custodial DeFi wallet and decentralized exchange by the name of Symmetric on Celo. So my co-founders and I set out to find out why people are not using DeFi. And when we spoke to users, we found out that people find that DeFi in its current form is too expensive, gas prices are too high, it's too complicated, and it's just generally very difficult to get started. So we decided to build a solution that can allow DeFi to be for everyone. We made it extremely simple for people to get started. Now, we already know that the DeFi market has grown explosively over the past 12 months, not only in terms of total value locked, but also in terms of the total number of DeFi users. But our focus remains on the mobile trading segment. Globally, there's still two and a half billion people that remain unbanked, but they're getting cell phones and that's growing at 10% annually. With Cent, we hope to bring all DeFi primitives to these uh, unbanked and beyond with one simple accessible app. Our business model is very simple. We take a 0.25% in transaction fee and 10% of the interest earned by our users on their savings. Now this allows for us to have uh, our interests perfectly aligned with our stakeholders. This is the team that's bringing Scent and Symmetric to market. We're a triple threat of business operations, finance, and tech. Coming out on Celo in hopefully a couple of weeks. And with that, I am going to now play our demo. Unfortunately, we have, can you guys see my screen for the demo? Yes. Yes. Okay. Can you guys hear it as well? Uh, no. If you want to reshare it with uh, uh, audio, you just need to share this, the share again, and then share a, a Chrome tab. It's the rightmost uh, sharing option, and you need to t to tick the share with audio. Okay, I'll just explain what's happening in the video. That might be easier. Or you can do that, sure. 
Okay, so here we are showing our wallet and the uh, how you can import the wallet, then go on to uh, the options to buy. We've integrated with Ramp to be able to make purchases globally. Um, uh, unfortunately, you have to go through KYC AML, but it's a, the safer way to go. Uh, now we're going to show sending some cello from one wallet to another. So the balance should go up in just a few seconds once we've added the wallet address. And there we go. Uh, so that should update shortly. Now we're going to demonstrate uh, Wallet Connect which essentially allows our sent wallet to connect to our symmetric exchange. Now the balance has gone up as you guys may be able to see. Um, and so once we connect, actually there's a, an option to switch to an Ethereum wallet if you want within settings. And so now we're gonna connect to the exchange these are some pools already active on the exchange. It's only on test network, so please be aware of that. It hasn't officially launched. And using Wallet Connect, we can easily copy or scan the QR code on the screen into our sent wallet. Now at the bottom, you'll see a prompt, which is a security feature asking you if you want to connect to the exchange. And then from that point on, you can actually go on and stake in various pools. So uh, we're adding several pairs before, before launch, but at the moment, uh, this is what we have on our test network. And that is pretty much it for our demo. And with that, I'll open it up to questions from the audience. Awesome job, Uzziah. Great, great presentation and a very rich demo. A, a DEX and a DeFi wallet that is working together. What a, a, an awesome offering. Um, and with the growing um, uh, interest in the DeFi ecosystem uh, uh, of Celo, uh, you guys can play um, a very central uh, role. Um, and um, what I like about it also, it's like the end-to-end -end experience that you uh, um, provide uh, because you both work on the DEX and uh, the wallet itself. So really, really exciting project. And um, yeah, any questions uh, for Sant? I don't see any just yet. Well, that's that's okay. I mean, the reason we built two separate products is because we want to support the community. We believe in Celo. You know, we want to bring DeFi to to everyone. So this allows people that want, that need a wallet or people that need an exchange for us to to work with them. And, and you know, help build up this DeFi ecosystem within Salo. Awesome. Thank you so much, Uzera. I think we are really short in time, uh, okay. but a wonderful job. And uh, thank you so much. Thank you Thanks. so much, Uzera. We'll see you soon. That's great. So next up, we have Coin Profile. And I'll be calling up Bashir. Hi guys. Hi Can Bashir. Hey Bashir. Perfectly. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna share my screen now. Um, just a minute. Yeah, is my screen on right now? You guys can see my screen? Yes. Okay, great. 
Um, hi, my name is Bashir. I'm co-founder at CoinProfile. Uh, CoinProfile allows anyone to send money to Africa from anywhere they are in the world. Um, the problem is moving money into and across Africa is slow, expensive, and unreliable. You know, there are high fees and exchange rates. Sometimes it can be up to 7% in, 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 um, in fees. It's slow, you know, it can take sometimes between two to five days for money to reach the receiver's account. And there are high failure rates. Um, failure rates can range between 25 to 30% uh, on some bad days. Um, Coin Profile offers a better way to move money, you know, zero fees, better exchange rate so that the receiver can get better value for their money. You know, it's fast, it takes less than five minutes for the money to hit the receiver's account. And there are zero failure rates. I mean, we are built on top of Celo and CUSB, which has like almost zero chances um, of failure. Um, so how does it work? Um, I'm gonna share a live demo right now. Um, basically, you go to the website, no signups required um, here. You just put in the amount you want to send. Right now, we support um, Nigerian Nera. Um, so you just put the amount you want to send in, um, in Nera, put your email address, um, you know, enter the bank account details. We support all the banks in Nigeria currently live right now. Um, click continue. It's gonna query the bank account details and show you the name. As you can see, my name, has been queried and displayed here. And I just reviewed the details of the, of the transfer. It tells you how much in CUSD you need to pay for the transaction to enter the receiver's account. Um, after that point, it's gonna take a, a little while to, um, to load and show you, it's gonna show you a, a unique wallet address. And all you need to do is just send the money to that unique wallet address and it will be, the money will be processed automatically to the user's account. So um, I'm gonna open my Valora app right now. I can either scan this QR code or just copy the amount and wallet address and paste it here, um, just a minute. And then I'm gonna send the amount that is being displayed here to the wallet address that is shown. And it should take just under um, a minute for this to hit the uh, bank account any second now. Um, okay, and that's, that's it. You know, you've sent money wherever you are in the world, whether you're in Germany, the US, anywhere you are, um, you can send money using this process very, very fast. Um, so what's the market looking like for, um, for this? You know, 45% of global money, um, global, global mobile money market here is in Africa alone. That's a huge market. And $40 billion in remittance flows into Africa on a yearly basis. $8 billion being done on P2P volumes online, and three times of that have been done on WhatsApp and Telegram groups offline. Um, so our traction so far has been amazing. We launched less than a year ago on the, um, um, on the, on, on, in May, 2020, we've gathered 4,500 users who have, who have, who have sent more than $2.5 million in, 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 in remittances. Um, 75% of that volume is from users, um, who use our product and just keep coming back to the product because it's just amazing for them. Um, we've spent all with spending zero dollars on marketing, um, so far. Um, our business model is, Pretty simple. We make one to two percent on arbitrage um, from the crypto on different exchanges, and our projected revenue by 2024 is 21 million dollars. Um, we have built product for, for both consumers and businesses, and we have an infrastructure that ties these um, consumer and business products together. Um, and on that note, we'd like to announce Kempa, which is basically what we call Shopify for crypto exchanges. It's going to allow anyone anywhere create customizable money exchange, um, crypto exchange online within minutes. No coding required, no need to hire, an, ex, um, no need to hire an, an engineer. It all takes a few minutes to just set up your exchange online and we'll be, uh, we'll be launching that very, very soon. Um, our team is very diverse. Um, um, we have experience in um, business operations and engineering. I myself, um, I'm a product designer at um, various um, crypto and fintech companies. Um, my co-founders, um, John and um, Hakim, uh, have very wide experience in blockchain and software engineering. Um, on that note, um, if you'd like to reach out, um, you can email me anytime at bashir at coinprofile.co. Our product is live right now, so you can go to coinprofile.co. If you have um, a family in Nigeria that you want to send money to, just visit our website. It's live right now, and you can start using Valora to do that. You can also scan um, the QR code to learn more um, about our company. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Bashir. And off-ramping in Nigeria, you know, everyone I think needs uh, off-ramping uh, services. And I invite everyone in the community, if you uh, need to integrate, uh, reach out to Coin Profile. Uh, they have like really impressive uh, traction so far. 
Um, so really, really awesome job and a great uh, project and a member in our community. So thank you, Bashir. And let's see if we have questions. We have Thanks two so questions in the chat. Uh, what's the average uh, remit size? Remit and size. Um, yeah, right now we, we, we um, based on, this is actually great because we actually just calculated this like last week based on some questions that were asked. Um, $200 is what is being sent averagely by users. Uh, we have a lot of users that just keep, you know, send them money and send them money over and over again. So right now, average remittance size um, is around $200 per transaction. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much, Bashir. And you have another question regarding uh, KYC, but you can ask, answer in the chat because we have a lot of okay. teams presenting today. Uh, so thank you so much, Bashir. Great job. Thank you, Bashir. All right, guys. Thank you. Next up, we have Dahlia Finance, and Robert will be coming onto screen. Hey, how's it going, guys? Hello, Robert. Hey, Welcome. Robert. Great to uh, great to be here. So, uh, so it looks like I'm having some trouble sharing the screen. Uh, it just gives me the share event link. Uh, is there another button that I can press to share it? Ah, never mind. I got it. All right. Perfect. So uh, today I'm going to be presenting to you guys Dahlia. Uh, Dahlia is a decentralized finance protocol bringing leverage yield farming to Celo. So yield farming has been sort of a fantastic way uh, the entire uh, DeFi ecosystem has been bootstrapping liquidity. It's basically where uh, users are rewarded with governance tokens. As you can kind of see from the picture, we see liquidity as critical to DeFi as bandwidth is for uh, streaming. So when looking at the market, we kind of saw three major things. We saw that yield farmers always want to maximize their yields. Users always want high interest on their savings and protocols want to bootstrap liquidity. So that's exactly what Dahlia solves. So Dahlia basically enables traders to take on leverage yield farming positions, increasing liquidity, interest rates, and farming yields on Celo. So there are sort of, you know, when, when we were looking at this space, uh, we noticed that Alpha Mora has maybe over a billion dollars in locked up liquidity. To sort of put that in perspective, uh, the entire cello ecosystem has maybe 30 million. So we're really looking to be sort of the liquidity engine for the cello DeFi ecosystem. So here I'm going to show you guys a product demo. So this is the liquidity feature. So right here you can see Kyle is basically opening up his MetaMask account, linking it to Dahlia Finance. So right now he is adding, you know, what looks like to be a very large number. Uh, to be earned, he's setting the gas limit. Uh, and then, then he's gonna be confirming the transaction and it's being currently settled on the L4 testnet. So skipping over a little bit, we can kind of see that the transaction went through and then he gets returned one interest bearing cell. So the, uh, the UI is gonna be looking a little nicer uh, for our mainnet launch. Uh, so as you can kind of see, uh, we will make it more intuitive for individuals. Uh, and so our mainnet launch will be happening pretty soon. Some of the benefits of launching on Celo, well, we're going to be looking at 60,000 times lower gas fees. Uh, we're also providing mobile access to high yield savings accounts. And if you look at sort of the yields right now, the Ubi Celo yield is over 600%. And best of all, we're going to be partnering up with UbiSwap. So in terms of roadmap, we already deployed version one to Alforis. Uh, right now we're working on the UbiSwap integration and we'll have a V2 cell mainnet launch uh, by July 1st with our uh, token launch uh, and support for Celo, CUSD and Celo Euro. And then pretty soon after what we're probably most excited about is the public SDK rollout, which will just support more integrations with the ecosystem. We have a awesome crypto native full stack team uh, we're all computer science majors, and we have expertise from back end to design. 
Uh, we talked a lot about sort of the cello ecosystem and onboarding it with liquidity, but sort of our broader mission is to onboard the world to high yield savings accounts. Uh, you know, BlockFi introduced 8% interest on USDC, which is pretty game changing. But once you get to the double digits, 20, 30, 40%, that can be truly life changing for many. So yeah, we are on Twitter uh, as well as Discord. So please check us out. Thank you so much, Robert. You know, I can still remember the email that you sent us. You know, we are a, a students for Michigan and we are at the finals and we don't know if we will have a, a, the time, but uh, uh, you really, uh, during the camp, you, you formed a team uh, and you made an awesome uh, job throughout and uh, really, really uh, impressive work. Um, you know, uh, the, the Celo ecosystem and uh, um, the De DeFi projects are st starting to take off and uh, it's really a time to start thinking about yield. And what I like about projects like uh, uh, Alpha Hemora that you mentioned is um, that actually they, um, they thought about uh, maximizing, uh, maximizing yield while uh, minimizing uh, risk for users by doing things like uh, insure, insuring and uh, taking buffers from uh, the borrowers to make sure um, uh, risk is minimized. Uh, so maybe I'll start with a question of uh, my own. What is your thoughts about uh, doing like responsible DeFi and minimizing uh, risk? Yeah, that's a, that's an excellent question. Uh, so in terms of liquidation, and this is actually where we were thinking about uh, maybe even uh, going a little bit different from how Alpha Homora does it. But so there are really some great protocols in the ecosystem that we're looking to sort of integrate with. Uh, one of the things we're sort of thinking about is sort of integrating with a backstop protocol. So sort of how it would work is we would essentially have some sort of capital pool or stability pool that essentially provides uh, some sort of cushion to the collateral debt positions. So essentially we would be providing some sort of cushion uh, so that if collateral, uh, if the collateral of Stella, for instance, which is pretty volatile, decreases towards the cloud or lower than the collateral ratio, uh, you know, we're, we're effectively keeping some vaults from being liquidated. Uh, this is also sort of an effective way of how we're designing our token. Uh, one way or one use case for the Dahlia token is to essentially have them stake to the to the stability pool. Uh, and so that's sort of how we see liquidation uh, right now. Uh, for us to sort of add some sort of backstop uh, for for our liquidity uh, liquidity vaults. All right, thank you so much. And I see we have a short question here on the chat. Is these projects open source? So are you open source? Yeah, of course. Staying true to the DeFi ethos, uh, we are definitely open source. You can check out our GitHub at Dahlia Finance. Uh, and uh, all our contracts uh, will are also have all, all the core contracts have been audited as well. Uh, so uh, we are pretty good to go for our July 1st deployment. Thank you so much, Robert. And you are welcome to continue and answer questions uh, on the chat if you see any in, in the ask a question tab. So thank you so much, Robert. Awesome job, man. Thank yeah, you, Robert. Awesome. Yeah, thanks for having me. Next up, we have Infrabridge. We'll be calling up Girish. Hello, Girish. Welcome. Hey, hey Rachel. How are you? So give me a second while I share my screen. OK. Can you guys see my screen? Yes. OK, great. So let me get started. So hello, everyone. My name is Girish, and we are building Infibridge. About four years ago, we fell in love with blockchain and digital ledger technology. But we reala realized that blockchain is complex technology. So we see Infibridge as an opportunity to make blockchain simple, increase mass adoption, and transform the Celo ecosystem. Celo is a fantastic blockchain. But one thing it is missing right now is a browser extension wallet that can fully complement Celo. Infibridge is a wallet that's very easy to use and has deep integration with Celo. We believe that Infibridge will elevate the Celo ecosystem to a whole new level by bringing millions of new users 
as well as users from ecosystems like Ethereum. This will add millions of transactions and visibility to projects on Silo. Infibridge is MetaMask on steroids. If you look at this chart, Infibridge does so much more on Celo than MetaMask. It is designed to give you a great experience and enables you to use all the unique features in Celo. Infibridge is just one click away in your browser. It increases your productivity with support for multiple wallets. This helps you group and manage all your accounts in one place. Within a wallet, you can import accounts using private key, key store file, or import just an address so that you can watch it for transactions and balances. A common challenge for everyone is finding all the great projects that are on a blockchain. Infibridge allows you to discover projects on Celo and interact with them directly from the wallet. This not only brings visibility, it also increases the number of transactions and revenue for Celo projects. The ability to view and vote for governance proposals increases community participation. Staking on Celo within the wallet allows you to earn passive income on your funds. You can send funds to other people as Celo or with stable coins. You can pay for transaction fees in Celo or stable coins. This enables a wide variety of use cases that require payments pegged to the US dollar or euro. Infibridge has tremendous market potential. Assuming it gets just 5% volume of MetaMask and a very conservative 5% monthly growth rate, it can cross $100 million in transactions in 18 months. With a 25% growth rate, boom, we can exceed a billion dollars in 18 months. A wallet like Infibridge is an extremely important product for any blockchain because it is something that you will use every single day. Thank you. Thank you so much, Girish. You know, one of the tenets of Celo is uh, striving for beauty. And I think what you are uh, building is saying, you know, developers, super users that are working on desktop should, ha should have a great experience, should have a fluent experience. And um, also the possibility of uh, swapping that you mentioned there and the market potential is uh, something that I wasn't aware of, you know. Uh, so uh, I would love to, um, to ask you before we go to the uh, to the audience questions um, on the uh, how do you do it um, uh, on Infrabridge? You have contracts for doing the the swapping. If you can talk a little bit uh, more about uh, how is it done um, and the touch point between the actual um, uh, desktop wallet and the uh, um, and the uh, backend. Yeah, so, so yes, we, we do have, you know, uh, contracts that we'll be building for swapping tokens. And uh, uh, we will also be integrating with existing projects, like, for example, Ubiswap, you know, the way you can swap tokens over there as well, right? So it will work, work both ways. Thank you so much. Any questions from the audience, Rachel? I don't see any questions just yet. But if anybody does have any questions for Girish, you can ask an ask a question tab and uh, Girish, you can answer them uh, directly over there. Perfect. So thank thank, thank, you, thank so you so much. much thank for you. joining. We'll see you yeah. soon. See you. Thank you. And guys, we are just over the, uh, the, the midpoint of the uh, presentation. And wow, what a show, what a great presentations. And I know that our mentors are going to have a really hard time voting. Um, and so uh, I want to thank everyone for uh, for asking questions here and for the work that, uh, that the teams have been uh, doing. So um, awesome job. And also, um, just a side note, when asking a question in the tab, just write the team name so we know who you're uh, asking the question directly to. So next up, we have a ward pool. I am calling up Ruven to the screen. Hello, Ruben. Hey, Thanks for uh, having me today. This is really exciting. There's some great presentations. Great to see you, Ruv. All the right. Stage is all yours. Okay, so uh, I'm I'm Ruben Cohen, and I'm the founder and co-founder of a Warpool. We're focused on engaging and rewarding users through gamification. 
So we have a platform that essentially has the, uh, has a core hypothesis. This hypothesis is based on the concept of the digital generation. This is a, ge a generation that doesn't make a distinction between the physical world and the virtual world. They see a pair of sneakers much the same, same way they see a pair uh, skin in a video game. We have a platform that provides a mechanism to engage those users in new and exciting ways, whether it's a Facebook post, whether it's playing a game, whether it's going to an event, we provide them with a digital element, an NFT, a crypto token, and other related things that provide them a new way to experience you and your brand in exciting and, and new ways. Our platform is unique in the sense that we, we work across multiple blockchains. We provide all the mechanisms you need to engage your users by creating these digital things uh, through uh, again, on, on the Celo blockchain, on the Ethereum blockchain, on Flow, Binance, and others. So when you use our platform, think of it kind of like a Shopify for the NFT world, where things like OpenSea are geared towards um, more like an eBay, where you're, where you're bidding and you're trading. We have a platform that provides all the tools you need to engage your users through a kind of social engagement. So again, we can support more than 300 types of different games, dozens of different social media platforms, and a whole variety of sort of meta world and physical world sort of interactions. So we can define things such as if you go to an event, and it just as easily as if you go to a location in the sort of meta world. Our, plat our team is extremely experienced. We've raised in our previous startups more than $100 million. We've had success in exits, Ahmad in the gaming space, Alex in the capital market space, and me, the, the speaker, in the cloud computing world, selling my previous company. W looking at the platform, it's broken into two parts. You see sort of the front end here, which is geared towards, again, the end user. And this could be artists, it could be, it could be sports, it could be brands, movies, and others. So it's a mechanism to engage those users by getting to do things. Again, you'll see here, you can get points for following someone, doing some code on GitHub, watching a video, playing a game, and then you can trade those with other users on the platform. You can buy those with tokens, you can buy those with points, you can buy those with your credit card. We create all the complexities and reduce that by automatically creating wallets so you don't have to worry about the how and why the blockchain works, it just works. It allows even the most novice blockchain and crypto world users to, to quickly and easily use the platform. On the back end, we have all the tools you need to administer the, this type of environment. You can quickly and easily create new NFTs. You can create tokens. You can add custom attributes. If you want to create a new crypto kitties type game, you could uh, easily create a mechanism to breed various types of kitties, dinosaurs, what have you, and, and come up with a brand new NFT based on the result of that particular breed. We create the graphics on the fly, high resolution. You can use those for tickets. You can create your own virtual leagues. So if you're in the NBA and you want to create, or if you're in the NFL, you want to create your own, you can do your own sort of knockoff of the M NBA top shots. And lastly, I want to announce that we just did uh, close our, our seed round. And I'd like to thank the Flory Ventures Group from Cello for being one of our participants and funders in our company. It's been a real privilege to be involved in the Cello camp. Thank you so much for including me. It's, I've learned more in the last eight weeks than I've probably learned in the last eight years. I really appreciate you including me in this. It's been a great experience. Oh, thank you so much, Ruben, for the kind words and for the great uh, presentation. And you know, uh, NFTs and uh, rewarding uh, communities is such an important uh, topic. Um, and what you are doing here is a very solid and rich implementation of NFTs that includes uh, many aspects, you know, rewarding sport, sports event, rewarding uh, community leaders and, and community participants. Uh, so awesome job and I'm super excited for the news and, um, and for your uh, upcoming uh, lunches. So uh, thank you so much, Ruben. And let's see if we have some questions for Ruben. I think so I mentioned a returns uh, question. You know, one of the things that we do on the platform that's a little different is we, we do act as a custodian, but that does give us some uh, capabilities for managing sort of the life cycle of NFTs and current reden redemption. So for just as a quick example, let's say you, uh, you're the holder of the NFT and the NFT is related to, let's say, a musician. So the holder of the NFT then has sort of rights and that right could be behind the scenes footage or unreleased music from a given artist. 
So we have the sort of ability to kind of control a lot of the aspects of it. And if you are in a position where you want to uh, trade that or sell it to someone else, you can export it to your seller wallet and do whatever you like with, with the asset. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Ruben, for joining Thanks. us today. Appreciate and it. we will see you soon. Okay, we have three more teams to go. And the next one up is Team Cresco. And I will be calling up Deepak to the screen. And we have 336 people registered to this event today. And the number keeps on growing. Hello, Deepak, welcome. Hey, Rachel. Hey, Alan. How's it going? All is good, Deepak. And the stage is yours. Wonderful. All right. So I'm sharing my screen here. Let me go full screen. All right. Let me know, Alan, if you can see my screen. Yes, perfectly. Wonderful. All right. Welcome to Cresco. My name is Deepak. I'm the founder. And Cresco means uh, growth in Esperanto. And our mission is to help you grow your wealth. And we do this by giving you access to international equities from anywhere in the world. And let me tell you why this kind of solution needs to exist right now. So if you look at the entire uh, world's like uh, markets, except the US, it has grown about 50% in the last 10 years, but the US markets have grown by 186%. <clears throat> and most of the rest of the world don't have access to this kind of growth. And why is that? Because there is a lot of friction in the traditional markets where you know you need a lot of money. Even if you have a lot of money, you have to go through a lot of hoops and jumps with paperwork. And even when you have access, you get this, right? You get censorship where people can censor you. I was like so mad when this happened. I, I don't even trade stocks. I went and bought $5,000 worth of uh, GameStop stocks just to, you know, for this reason, right? To support the group and the mission here. And uh, that's when the idea for Cresco was born. I mean, we do have uh, places where uh, you get like uncensorable stuff, but you get like this kind of uh, mess, right? It is so complicated to use uh, DeFi on Ethereum for an average user. And let me show you how we are solving this problem. Uh, let's assume that you know Alejandro is a teacher in Buenos Aires. How can we enable him to buy a stock for 20 cents? Let me show a quick uh, demo. Uh, so this is our app that is currently running on the Alpha Horace testnet. I click connect to log in. Once I log in, I see all my balances on my account and all the other uh, assets I can trade. In this case, let's say I want to buy Tesla stock. Uh, and let's say I want to buy just, I don't know, like $25 worth of stock, right? I get so much amount based on the price today. I hit buy. And once I approve, it should just take a few seconds for the transaction to go through. Boom, that's it, right? And then I can view if I want on the block explorer here that the transactions went through. Alternatively, I can come on the app and look at the activity here and see all the activity, including the activity of just uh, the current purchase. And how are we making this possible? We are doing this by creating our own, uh, uh, we are creating our own protocol that is a novel protocol where anybody can come and lock in their crypto to generate this synthetic asset. And compared to existing DeFi protocols, we are at least up to 200%, if not more, uh, capital efficient. And if you wanna know more about how the protocol works, reach out to me afterwards, happy to talk. Uh, let's look at the numbers, right? The entire stock market of the world is around like $89.5 trillion. And the key players, uh, if you look at Robinhood, which is a comparable like mobile first app, which generated about $673 million in revenue last year. And on the DeFi side, Synthetix, I project to uh, generate about $66 million in fees this year. And this is excluding any staking rewards uh, or anything like that. And who's building this? We are a great team. Uh, we've all been in crypto for a few years now. I'm also the lead uh, on the community fund where I get to see all the cool projects that are being built on Celo. Trevor and Alex are core contributors on the Celo blockchain. And yeah, in conclusion, we are Cresco and our mission is to make wealth 
accessible. Uh, thank you. And I'll leave my email in the chat. Uh, please feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions. Thank you so much, Deepak. And also, I want to thank you for uh, the active part that you are taking in the community. I'm a fan of your yoga classes. You know, I, I try to, to attend uh, most of them. And um, the project itself, you know, access to, uh, to, to synthetic assets and stocks is like a, today a basic need. Um, and, you know, uh, creating more transparency also in this uh, field and not having to negotiate um, uh, fees and management fees. Uh, all these things can be uh, resolved uh, through a, a mobile app. And your demo was really, really um, great. And and, uh, and I want to wish you uh, good luck. And I'm looking forward, you know, to uh, to use your uh, your product. Love it. Thank you. Thank you so much. So we have one question for you here. Uh, how is Cresco different than the various synthetic asset platforms? Yeah, I think we lost Rachel for a second, but I think the question was how. Rachel, you're back? Here. Yeah, so I can answer the question. So uh, compared to other synthetic projects, we are taking a little different approach where we want to make uh, bring a little more capital efficiency by creating our own uh, integrated AMM pool. So when people create a synthetic asset, either they can take custody of the synthetic asset when they create it, or they can automatically uh, stake and provide liquidity at the same time. So that helps us to uh, bring a better parity between the actual like off-chain uh, price versus the price on-chain. If you look at uh, either synthetics or mirror on Ethereum right now, there's a parity between the stock's price on, let's say, Yahoo Finance versus what is on Uniswap. So we want to bridge uh, the gap between those prices by creating a different uh, model here. Thanks. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Deepak. We'll see you soon. Okay, so I'd like to interrupt our regular program to announce the wildcard entry to present to us today, the winner of our Startup Pathway program. The Startup Pathway is a six-week educational program for early stage startups and solid builders entering the subtle ecosystem. And we'd like to announce that Team Fly Wallet has one and will be presenting to us today out of 14 teams in the Startup Pathway program Fly Wallet was voted in, and I will be calling up Thomas to the screen. Thomas, I sent you an invite, so you should receive a pop-up to accept. Uh, hmm. Thomas, are you not receiving it? You can write to me in the chat. I'll reprompt you again. Okay, let me redo yeah. this. And while Rachel is doing that, I will say that like SP is a program that we launched um, for the first time. Um, and it uh, um, gives an opportunity to uh, strong builders and uh, early uh, startups uh, to learn about our uh, community and to build uh, great projects. Um, so we also had wonderful, wonderful teams uh, presenting um, in the Startup Pathway uh, demo that it was last week. And, um, and um, 
I'm very excited to see uh, Fly Wallet present when they will manage to do it. But Rachel, we can move. Um, um, okay, he's actually, accepting. Yeah, I just saw him yeah, I, left. Yeah, actually, I think uh, it's better that we do Fly Wallet before. Uh, hello, hello, uh, hello. Hello, Thomas. Doing, Welcome. Hey, hey. Welcome, Thomas. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much. Thanks so much for having me. Uh, big shout out to Alon, Elad, and the Cello Pathway team. We did it. Thank you so much, uh, uh, Thomas. So if you can uh, share your screen, um, if you over Absolutely. Uh, over your uh, box at the top, you should see a share screen button. So, so let me know when we are live. Stay loading. Yes, we can see your presentation. The floor is yours. Okay. Okay. Hello, everyone. My name is Thomas, and I am the co-founder of FlyWallet. We are taking blockchain to the sky. So what's it going to take to make crypto mainstream? Mass adoption is vital. So opening the doors, or the gates, I should say, to the blockchain ecosystem is a priority for all of us. Introducing FlyWallet. Travel is the only expense that makes you richer. And who doesn't like to travel? Especially today. With FlyWallet, it's easy. Our mission is to make travel affordable. Experiences will always be more valuable than things. We need to teach people to spend their money right. Blockchain adoption is our calling for us to prosper as a, hum as a race. And finally, our purpose. 120 years from now, Seller will be here, but we probably won't. So how does, how does FlyWallet work? FlyWallet is uh, an online savings account where I can add funds either one time or every month by connecting a Valora app or a debit card. And uh, inside of the product, we've integrated a search engine. So inside of the product, you can add your funds so you're preparing for your trip and you can also um, plan ahead. So here we entered an example from San Diego to London, leaving in October. You can see your search results inside of the application, just like a regular search engine. Um, here I chose this one, and I add it to my plans. So by having it in my plan, I'm tracking the, the price at all times. I'm able to book the flight through the platform without having to go on any other website. I can even pay in installments. And FlyWallet tells me exactly how much I need to save. So you see the little emoji there? If he's happy, I'm on track, and I'm saving enough. Um, for disclaimer, what I'm doing with the rollup, I'm buying uh, CUSD stable coins, but what's displayed are fiat because we don't want to intimidate. We want people to feel right at home when putting all of their money onto the Cello blockchain. Our vision is to become a travel super app. By leveraging the Cello ecosystem, the possibilities are limitless. Literally, if you heard all the other projects before, any, any one of them can be a partner. From high yield interest, staking, group travel, paying in installments, Flywood has got your back every step of the way. The team is a dream team. We're comprised of travelers, entrepreneurs, and we have a combined 20 years experience building products and bringing them to the market. The Cello community is one we feel right at home with and really look forward to growing with. My name is Thomas. Thanks so much for having me, guys, and shout out to the Cello teams that pitched today. Very inspiring. Thank you so much, Thomas. What a wonderful demo, man. Awesome job. You know, the oh, message thank, thank of, you. of thank you the message of investing in, in experiences and not in, in things is something you know I think we all can really uh, relate to and resonate with. And especially after the this COVID uh, uh, um, uh, uh, section, everyone are uh, very uh, looking forward to fly again and to uh, to meet others in the in the community and to bridge the uh, uh, the distance gap so thank you so much for the presentation and i would love to take your questions rachel any questions from the audience for fly wallet uh, how do you onboard the credit cards uh how to onboard credit cards is that for me where you 
add your credit card information. This is if you're doing with a card. And with, if it's with the Valor app, you have to have a Valor um, wallet. Or you onboard by uh, redirecting to Valor. That's uh, how you add funds into your Fly wallet. Awesome, Thomas. So thank you so much for the presentation. And uh, and then I think everyone can continue uh, asking questions because I see here in the chat a lot of uh, of interest in the project. So thank you so yeah. much, man. Yeah, Thomas, you oh, can reply. You. I you. see quite a few oh. more questions that popped up. Um, OK, thank you so much, Thomas. We'll see you soon. All right, bye, guys. Bye. Bye, bye. So last but not least, our last team to present from Cell Camp is ETH Trust. I'll be calling Chris up onto screen. You know, I can't wait to save to start saving for my next flight. The flight word. Hello, hey, Chris. Chris. What's up? Hey guys, how's it going? Wow, what an inspirational group of human beings, and uh, oh, what an amazing day! Thank you, guys, uh, Up Labs for hosting this, and and uh, C Labs for for putting all of this on. This has just been the most amazing camp. Good morning, guys. So, hi, um, this is Chris from ETH Trust, and welcome to the ATM Lab. I've got something really special for you. Everything that I'm demoing for you guys today is live and real and on the cello mainnet. What I'm gonna do is uh, uh, rather than present my screen, I'm actually going ahead and uh, present a quick video. So hold on, I'm gonna Chrome tab, make sure to share my audio. Here it goes. Is everything groovy? Yes. Hi there, I'm Chris Hughes, CEO of ETH Trust, the low cost, self-service, cash to cash remittance network. Sending remittances globally is expensive, inconvenient and prohibitive for over a billion unbanked people worldwide. It's such a large problem that the United Nations has set it as a sustainable development goal in an attempt to reduce the fees to less than 3%. How much does it cost to send $200? Over 12 bucks, and that's simply unacceptable. And yet $700 billion moves this way annually, over $400 billion of that in cash. ETH Trust is a network that enables people to send and receive cash uh, entirely for little to no fees. We do this by taking the cash that's sitting inside the ATM and provide that to the DeFi liquidity markets. We install a piece of hardware that counts the cash inside the machine, and then we provide that to Moolah or other lending marketplaces and basically earn uh, a yield for the ATM owner. This permits us to install additional software that allows remittances and other types of financial applications to live on this kiosk. With over $700 billion in remittances being sent annually and 400 billion of that being done in cash, we can see easily taking 10% of that market space. And with $40 billion in cash on hand and potentially providing that to DeFi marketplaces, we can see revenues north of a billion dollars within five years. This would be impossible without an amazing team and ETH Trust, fortunately, we have that. We have human beings who are experts in the capital markets and human beings from Consensus and Google and Amazon. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, this is the most proud I've ever been of any team. Our successes to date are that we've won the Aave Hackathon in February. We won the Cello Make It Mobile Hackathon in April. We've done our first ATM transactions on the Cello network this month, and I'm super proud to announce that we've raised $1.5 million in our seed round. Our plan is to roll out our network and expand our ATMs uh, across the United States and globally. And uh, we have partnerships with banks uh, that we're exploring right now to go ahead and bring DeFi solutions for their cash management. But let's get to the big show. This weekend, ETH Trust rolled out its first machine. And so I'm gonna show you guys some video of that and then we're going to go to live transactions. Okay. So I'm gonna send my partner, Nick, $100. OK. 
confirming. Hey gang, I'm back here at the, wow, Chris. I'm back here at the ATM lab, and uh, for office hours after uh, Cello Camp, I'll be at the Pickford Market live doing actual real time transactions. Uh, so if you guys want to test out the ATM or see uh, two money, two way money, uh, well, come join me later. Thank you so much. It's been an absolute blast. Wow, Chris, thank you so much. This is so cool, you know, live ATM uh, with Celo and, um, uh, and stay tuned to after uh, uh, the show. We have a surprise from, uh, from uh, Chris, so we will share it uh, in the end. And uh, let's take maybe some questions uh, from the audience for Chris. We have one question here. How much can ATM owners earn from collaborating with you? Okay, so this is a really wonderful thing. So ETH Trust is looking to partner with existing ATM owners because while we are deploying new machines behind me in the ATM lab are the old ones. And so yes, we've got a path to converting existing ones into DeFi yielding platforms and uh, converting them to Celo ATMs for settlement as well. So. We are completely looking forward to collaborations. So if there are ATM networks, please reach out to us. Thank you so much, Chris. This was really awesome. And again, we will share a link with you all after we close the program. And you can uh, meet Chris at the grocery store, right? Across the street. Yeah, it's basically, <laughs> we rolled the, yeah, the, the, the wonderful thing, the Pickford Market, uh, location zero here at uh, Youth Trust, as we call it, uh, is, the Pickford, is the Pickford Market here in Los Angeles. And uh, yep, it's fortunately across the street. So I can go see my baby over there. Thank you so much, Chris. Great job. What an awesome project. Thank you, know, you guys. Seeing, seeing these things happening live, we couldn't we couldn't do it without the uh, donut hard fork that has happened this past week. Congratulations to C Labs and all of the wonderful work that they did. I mean, seriously, the uh, the upgrades went incredibly well. It was wonderful to be part of that, and we've just been waiting for that moment so that the rest of the functionality for the ATMs could go ahead and trickle into the seller network. We're looking forward to announcing here in the very short future uh, direct integrations with UbiSwap and Moolah so that you can park cash directly into those smart contracts. Super exciting, man, and thank you so much. Thank you, Chris. We'll see you thank soon. Thank you, guys. Be well. Bye. OK, well, thank you so much to all our presenters today and for our audience for joining. Voting begins right now. So if you can uh, find the polls tab at the bottom of the screen, vote for who you believe will have the most impact for your favorite team. And um, the community has 25% of the final vote of who will win fellow camp. And the polls will be open for two hours. I'd like to also announce that Soul Camp Batch 4 is coming this September. So you can now apply. Find the link at fellowcamp.com and you can apply there. And we really look forward to all of your submissions. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in today. And I'm going to pass the floor over to Alone quickly for some final words. Thank you so much, everyone, for tuning in today. Thank you to our mentors, to the team, to the entire community for your support throughout. Uh, all the 22 uh, teams that uh, participate in the camp, you all did great. I, I'm sure that you all uh, will become great leaders in, in the uh, ecosystem, and we want to hear about your fundraisers and your success. And we are always here for you to support you. Um, and we want to create really a, a community together that is open for everyone. And um, I want to say goodbye and, uh, and uh, congratulations. And uh, we will share the link uh, to, uh, to join uh, the live um, ATM transaction that Chris is uh, going to do right after the event. The polls are open, so vote uh, right now uh, for your favorite team. They are going to be open for two hours from now. Uh, so uh, vote, invite your friends to vote. And thank you so much for everyone for C Labs and um, uh, really, really to all our partners that participated. 
Um, thank you so much. Thank you. And we will see you next time. Bye. Bye-bye.